And we move on to other news, and there is new evidence this evening of planning before that deadly riot at the Capitol. Authorities tonight are now offering a $100,000 reward for information. The FBI saying those two pipe bombs were planted near the Capitol, that they were planted the day before. And there are horrific new images emerging tonight. One of the rioters on the ground during this whole thing, others trampling her. Even as you can hear a friend pleading for help, she did not survive. Here's our Chief Justice Correspondent, Pierre Thomas, now. Tonight, new details about the bombs left on Capitol Hill, with more evidence suggesting the insurrection may have been pre-planned. The FBI and ATF increasing their reward for the bombers' capture to $100,000 and revealing that the two pipe bombs placed at the RNC and DNC headquarters were left the night before. Sources telling ABC News the bombs were 12 inches long, complete with egg timers to help trigger the explosives inside. And ABC News obtaining this video showing the pipe bomb suspect walking through a Capitol Hill neighborhood. This is prosecutors release stunning new police camera video showing the fury and the utter lawlessness unfolding on January 6th as a crazed mob relentlessly assaults officers trying to keep them from getting inside the Capitol. Here's one of the rioters screaming he'll murder police. <laughs> Pounding the officers with what appears to be a baton while others wail away at authorities with crutches, pipes and other weapons, including what appears to be spears. This suspect seen here wielding a hockey stick, identified by prosecutors as Michael Foy, described as a combat trained Marine with a history of mental health issues. Officers who were there describing utter pandemonium. It looked like a medieval battle scene. Um, you know, it was some of the most brutal combat you know, I've ever, uh, ever encountered. The scene so chaotic, the mob so hell bent, that rioters trampled this woman who was clearly injured. Her friend desperately pleading for help as the crowd surges by. The woman, identified as Roseanne Boylan, later died. And today, police charging two more suspects they say are seen in some of the most widely viewed videos of the insurrection. Joshua and Jared Hughes accused of breaking through this window and of being in the crowd that followed Officer Eugene Goodman up those stairs. And Pierre Thomas with us tonight as well. And Pierre, I know we're getting a clearer sense of the intent of some of the suspects. You're learning of new evidence that investigators now have? David, the more details we get, the scarier the situation. Prosecutors said today when they searched the home of one of the suspects who was at the insurrection, they found detailed instructions for making homemade guns, explosives, and poison. David? Pierre Thomas on this again tonight. Thank you, Pierre. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.